to eLearning Today TV. I'm Lauren. And I'm Lena. And welcome to our show this week. Don't forget to head over to iTunes and give us five stars since you love us. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, um, I want to start. I'm going to show just kind of the intro clip, but LeBron James from the Miami Heat mm -hmm. um, actually is now kind of part of this cartoon for kids. And I did something on Giselle, the supermodel, a while back, and she was right. kind of doing like environmental friendly cartoons. So his is trying to teach just basic little moral lessons and stuff to kids. Um, there's one episode out so far, and I, I watched it. I have a link to it in the blog. But it's pretty much just a fun, like, it's a kind of a hip cartoon. I'll show you the intro. Um, there's apparently like guest stars from rap rappers and all these other people in it um, upcoming. But it's basically, he starts off every cartoon with like a live, um, just kind of an intro. So kids get to relate to him. I think it's a really great idea because so many people look up to athletes, especially here in Miami to LeBron James. Yes. So um, I'm just going to play the little intro of the um, cartoon. So this is just the beginning of it. And it's called the LeBron. And it goes through the four, um, four like versions of him. So there's like the kid, and then there's, there's the kid right there. And then they show the athlete playing basketball and all that. And then there's the business aspect. So it's him and his business ways. And then there's like the wise, which is like the old grandfather. So, so that's basically it. Um, it's a really nice cartoon. It's the graphics are great, and um, like I said, it's pretty hip. So I think kids can relate to it, and it then it teaches a lesson. So he's kind of using his fame and popularity to do good there. So that's kind of great. Yeah, and there's ten episodes, so only one's been released so far. And I have a link to their YouTube channel, so you can check it out. That's pretty cool. All right, and from LeBron to a uh, principal um, <laughs> that is kind of known for being Mr. Twitter, um, and he recently um, was interviewed um, about the best practices for social networking for educators. And so there was a, I was watching his little YouTube video um, of the interview, and there was a little bit of snippet there for like other um, administrators and superintendents and principals that I wanted to share. Um, so I'm gonna play that for you and then we'll have the notes on our um, blog with the show. Let's kind of cue it to where it was. I kind of lost my internet there for a second, so. stick their toe in the water. They have to experiment. They have to pick one or two different tools and realize that they're not only free, but they can actually help you become more effective and efficient at what you do. And, you know, my biggest mistake early on was trying to tackle all the different things at once. So I was so excited. But if you try one or two things and you actually follow other people that are not only talking to talk, but walking the walk and sort of model what they're doing, see what they're tweeting, see how they're using YouTube, see different learning activities by reading blogs and so on and so forth. Get comfortable before you actually plunge in and start to use it on a routine basis. And I think that once other administrators can see and take back to whether it's their board of education or superintendents, practical examples and strategies of how to effectively so what I liked about, this is a four minute video and like I said, we'll put the link on our notes. Uh, what's great about it is that um, he kind of goes over everything that how he started and the things that he did and then he goes into the advice for the other administrators and so forth. from New Jersey? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, he was, we, we've talked about mm -hmm. him in the blog or whatever. Um, but what I liked about this video is that he goes over like some of the things and uh, he also did a presentation recently in a conference and um, he posted his slides so we'll have a link to the slides too because I think those are really great uh, notes for yeah. uh, educators and especially administrators and superintendents that don't really know why 
what's the role of social networking and media in the school? So he kind of tackles that in, from his own perspective of being a principal. So, um, and he's kind of fun. I mean, he's not, he, he's not boring or anything. So um, it's, a, it's a fun little video that you can watch. It's four minutes, like I said, and then his um, slides are, are pretty good for, for um, to complement the video. All right. Um, and I found four websites this week that are actually um, for math help or tutorials, but they're all videos. So I thought it was a great way um, for kids to kind of practice concepts or if they need help at home to kind of log on to these sites and check it out. Um, I'll show you one, but the first one's Math TV, which is um, covering everything from basic math to like algebra. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can make playlists so you can kind of organize them by notes and by subject and by what you're learning in class. Um, Brightstorm, which is they actually make ACT and SAT um, prep material, but they now have like this free section of these math tutorials and they cover everything also like algebra, geometry, trigonometry, so a lot more advanced stuff there. Math Train TV, which I will show you. Um, just to get an idea of what they look like. Um, it kind of looks like YouTube. You have tons of videos. Um, you just click on them, they open up, and you can, same thing on YouTube, there's like related videos. Um, there's comments, so you can kind of go in there and search for whatever you're talking about in class. There's videos, there's audios, and there's groups. So it's a really great resource, I think, to have and to make use of. And the last one is um, teacher zone which comes from the tutorial service 10 marks and so now they're offering this again a free service um, there's over a thousand math tutorial videos in this one awesome. and um, they're actually taught by real tutors so it's kind of like getting an extra lesson at home for free so I think they're really great resources and if you need help with math you should definitely check those out awesome great so one of the um, articles that I found this week that I, I think is really great and kind of summarizes all the um, learning uh, e-learning trends uh, and for educators and so forth, um, it's uh, by the Jacksonville Parenting uh, Teens Examiner, and they kind of group together all of these trends that we talk about here on the show and that you see and that maybe you're still not sure how to use. Um, so they give like the ten the top 10 on how you use them in, um, let's say, K to 12th grade. Mm -hmm. um, so like we know, the iPads in the classroom, uh, more mobile devices, we always talk about that. Tech-based monitoring of student programs, etc. cetera. Um, cloud computing. Um, then they also talk about social networking, how you use it for learning and that kind of stuff. So um, this is a great list to have, and especially if you're kind of just like Mr. Twitter said, just ready to take the plunge and find out what all these things are. Um, so we'll have that on our notes. I think it's a great article for, for all teachers and even um, teachers who are experts, if you want to share with other people, it's a great thing to have on your Twitter and share with everybody else. So all right. those are our resources for this week. And that's our show, so we'll see you next week.